Hey guys, Pro1701, and today on Face Off, we have just kind of a silly one. One I did as a tongue in cheek, just because it amused me to do so. And the Face Off today was which one is more irksome and irritating? The Zarby or Clara Oswald? <laughs> And it was an almost even split, 55% to 45%, with 45% saying the Zarbi, which of course are the ant creatures from the infamous web planet with their infamous annoying sounds they make. Whereas 55% said Clara Oswald. <laughs> now, if you've ever seen the web planet, uh, you know the production values are, it is the epitome of Classic Who's budget not being there. Uh, like, I'm pretty forgiving of Classic Who, because I understand the budget's not there, but there are those like, stories that even I have trouble with my willing suspension of disbelief getting past the fact it just looks bad. You know, the uh, Power of Crawl is another example of that. Uh, but just, the ambition's there for the web planet, but man, is it executed badly? That should have been like a two-parter, four-parter at most. As a six-parter, it just goes on. And now the Zarbi costume themselves, I like. I mean, they have the very human-looking legs, but they're clever about hiding that a lot of times on the camera. I actually think the props and the design of the outfits looks good. It's that annoying sound they make. That, oh, that noise they make, that sound. And it, does, it doesn't even grate on you at first. It just slowly becomes annoying. And then once you realize it's annoying, you can't ever not realize it's annoying. Kind of like one of those things, you know, once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's like that with that noise. Once you realize it's irritating, it's, it's irritating for the rest of the episode. Oh, man. And then if I ever rewatch it, God, no. Um, it'll probably irritate me right out of the gate. And if you've never seen The Web Planet, don't watch The Web Planet and count yourself lucky, because it's bad. Uh, that being said, it only had 45%, whereas Clara had 55%. Now, I like Clara with Matt a lot. I think they had great chemistry together, uh, Jenna and Matt, and also the 11th Doctor and Clara. I liked their kind of flirty nature that they had. Um, <clears throat> Even the other incarnations of Clara, I like the flirty nature between her and Eleven. And I like it, like, I'm not usually a big fan of the Doctor and relationships, especially since it's been done to death in Modern Who. <coughs> but I liked this one because it seemed so awkward for the Eleventh Doctor. Like, I liked Clara's style of flirting. You should be dancing, what, with you? Down boy. I d I d no, but I like the fact that Matt seems so clumsy with it. His doctor seems so clumsy with, like, romantic relationship stuff. Same problem he had with Amy. And I, I think that's hilarious. I love the doctor not really knowing what to do with that and kind of fumbling around. That amuses me. So when you have, if you have a relationship where the companion is a little more knowledgeable and workable with that. Like I liked Clara's flirty nature with him. Uh, I don't know why it amused me. It just seemed like she was more in control of the of the romantic aspect of that, which I like. So I really enjoyed them together. I wish Matt would have done another season. We could have seen more of them. I really do. It's her with Capaldi I don't like. And there are even episodes I like them together. There are episodes where they're good together. I love Flatline. But she tries too hard to be the Doctor. I always maintain that the first female Doctor was Clara Oswald, was Jenna Coleman. Because she very much tries to be the Doctor. I mean, at the end of season eight, during the intro, it's even her eyes pop up instead of his. Because she's pretending, she's even claiming to be the Doctor. Uh, it, and it just, it doesn't work. You sometimes feel like Capaldi's her companion instead of the other way around. And it, it just gets compounded in season nine. Like, if she had left in Last Christmas, that would have been the perfect exit for her. I love how that was written, with her turning out to be old, with it being in the future, and her being old. That would have been a phenomenal send-off. That, that would be a great way for a companion to leave the show, with it turning out, you know, they're just aged and old. That would have been a beautiful exit. But then they kept her another season, and it sucked. It sucked. I mean, we did get Heaven Sent out of it, and Heaven Sent's great. It still sucked. And then, of course, she got to come back and help Ben. 
least favorite companion ever, quite possibly. Let's see what some of you had to say. Shamrock Particle said, that's like saying, what's more irritating? A piece of paper in bright pink neon without sunglasses or being trapped in a room full of napping skunks? It's dark and you're trying to find the light switch without stepping on any of them. <clears throat> uh, Hudson Media said that was genuinely a hard one to answer. Hudson's also a Doctor Who YouTuber and creates excellent Doctor Who uh, themed music. Does his own take on Doctor Who music as well. Uh, Problem Being says, I'd take the Zarbi any day of the week. Nakayaku says, since Clara is neither irksome nor irritating but a great companion, the answer is easy. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, you're saying this? You? And he says, well, that's better than Donna or Rose and Jody's team. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> uh, L.O.Z. Hallett says, you could substitute Clara for any female companion under Moffat for me, except possibly Bill. L.A. Quadling says, LOL, never answered a poll so quickly. Uh, Moon Paolo, it's an interesting one, says Jody and McCoy are, McKay, McKay, McCoy are the real stinkers. Yeah. Uh, Tardis Spider says Clara is more irritating, but she has got better legs than the Sarpy. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Joshua Joshua says, definitely Clara for sure. I'd rather a Zarbi than Clara. She really wraps me up the wrong way. Uh, Dom Moore, it's always good to see Dom back. Dom says, well, the Zarbi are at least kind of funny. And they are what they are from day one. Clara, she starts out as a Victorian with a double life and a bit of snark, but quickly devolves into the blandest, most forced companion ever. So that's got, addition, it's got, so that's got the additional element of disappointment. Personally, I never hated Clara. I just didn't really care. She was definitely forced to the extreme. But then so was Rose and Amy a bit, not quite as badly. Hmm. Uh, Fadai Corey says, <laughs> where the hell is Mel Bush? <laughs> I wrote there, somewhere only slightly less irksome. <laughs> And Dom added in on this when he was shrieking behind a barrel someplace while the story carries on without her as per usual. <laughs> uh, Bobby Frackwell says, Neither. Much more irritating monsters than the Zarbi and Clara is one of the few decent same thing. Oh, wait a minute. There are much more irritating monsters than the Zarbi and Clara is one of the few decent things about the Matt Smith years. He is more irritating than she is. I do like her with Matt. I do like her with Matt. Bananas are good, so not that hard a choice for me. I would have to say Clara, even though the Zarbi look ridiculous and sound annoying. Jenna Coma is a fine actress, but the material she is given is just bad, and she becomes one of the most irritating know-it-all companions we have had. Yes. Not fair having a companion so beautiful to be so effing annoying. <laughs> not even going to quote her. Just quote the Zarbi. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. Uh, Happy Man 050 says, neither, it's Rose. Stephen Crane, one of my top tier patrons, uh, says, one is a mindless husk with little motivation outside of basic instincts who mean little harm and are mostly like cattle. The other is Clara Oswald, <laughs> the champion of the world. <laughs> Easy vote for Marina Nikolayeva. That sounds Russian. Um, Paul Bailey, a fellow Doctor Who YouTuber, says, For me, I have to say Clara. Series 7, she is great, but going into Series 8 and 9, very irksome. Exactly. Nail on the head right there. I mean, in Series 8 and 9, the Doctor becomes her bitch, to be honest, which I've also said as well. I hate the line where she threatened to smack him so hard he would regenerate, which I'm thinking, I wish she would leave. <laughs> in Series 7, she's really great, and I prefer Clara with Matt than Peter. Same. In Series 9, I wish you would have had a cameo in the Zygon 2 part instead of being in the whole series, but even though Heaven Sent is my favorite from the series, I felt she needs to go. 
I would have been happy if she'd left in death in heaven. That would have been perfect. But no, Moffat had to bring her back full time. And the whole thing with her having her own TARDIS. Uh, why the doctors had so many companions. Who I would have been happy with got their own TARDIS. But come on. Fly Attractor. Another, uh, another one of my regulars here. Who sent me several things to my PO box. Which I very much appreciate. Uh, says, oh, easily it's Clara. Why? Because the Zarbi was only in one story and didn't outstay their welcome by a couple of years and then totally mess up the canon and history by forcing themselves into said canon and history by treating it like it was all a joke. I love the Zarbi. <laughs> uh, I went eloquently put, and he said, I sure is. <laughs> And of course, Henry Andrews, who was another one of my regulars here, says, Clara, Clara, Clara. I'm sorry to Clara fans, but I don't like her attitude against the doctor. Exactly. Exactly. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Clara, Clara, Clara. Uh, so yes, <laughs> the Zarbi seemed the more popular of the two. It's bad when the Zarbi are more popular than you are. So that is, um, which one is more irksome and irritating, the Zarbi or Clara Oswald? which is just my amused little face-off for today. If you didn't get to vote in this poll, comment down below and which, let me know which one you find most irksome and irritating. Other things to do, click the like button and the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you never miss out on another video. I also have a Patreon if you want to check that out. That helps me keep the bills paid. So I'd appreciate if you'd take a glance at it. Several different tiers there to look over. I want to give a shout out to Stephen Crane and Kellen Co uh, Coney. Um, I appreciate their continued support. I have to stumble over his last name sometimes. I don't know why. Uh, and I do appreciate the support of all of my other patrons as well. Most importantly, though, thank you for watching.